everybody so a little while ago I did a skincare update and I thought I would just do another one just because things are definitely different about it so just to jump right in putting up my hair duh because that's just what you do my hair is a literal rope it's so much to deal with but whatever um and I didn't have any makeup to take off but if I do take off my makeup I started switching to this towel it's called erase your face I got it from Amazon it's really really good highly recommend it it's very eco-friendly and it's just cost friendly because you're not just throwing away tons of makeup remover wipes or anything like that usually at some point within the week I will do a face mask so you've probably if you've seen the last video you've seen this face mask um lol and it's this Australian red clay face mask it's not like my holy grail it's not gonna like cure everything about your skin and you know the reviews are a little bit out there but um it's a good face mask i think it's a really good mud if you're looking for like a nice mud mask i would recommend it um but it's definitely not gonna like solve all your problems um so after that dries i'm gonna go wash this off i only wash this off in the shower um just because it's it's definitely really messy and while I'm in there, I also wash my face. So I wash my face using this BioClarity Cleanse Cleanser. And it's really good. It's nice. It's simple. It's got good ingredients. Um, and then I also use this face brush from, uh, not Vanity Planet. They have one that's exactly like this. This one's kind of the knockoff version from Amazon. But it's really cheap and it works really well. I've had it for a year. So after I wash my face and wash off the face mask and everything, I will go in and... Uh, put on this spray. This is the same spray that was in the last one. It's just tea tree and witch hazel and water. Then the next thing I do is brush my teeth. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with these toothpaste tablets. They're from Bite and um, they're just amazing. The whole company and the whole brand is just awesome. And um, anyway, check them out. I'm going to leave them below and I'll talk a little bit more about them later. But I move on to this. this is from Organic Pharmacy. This is the Manuka. Um, it's kind of just like a blemish eraser kind of thing. I have blemishes everywhere, so I just put it everywhere. Funny how that works. This is an ancient Greek remedy oil. Very good. It's a little bit thick, but I feel like I'm really going to like this in the winter and uh, just high quality stuff and then I'll add a drop of tea tree onto that. I accidentally put two in there. Um, I don't recommend putting two drops of tea tree. See, whoops. Press that into my face. I'm very careful about not um, pulling or doing anything that's going to like irritate my skin and so I feel like whenever you slap stuff on and just kind of lather it everywhere that can tend to irritate your skin a little bit more and um, I notice a difference in texture whenever I don't do that. So then I use this serum. It came with a Lash Sensational mascara that I got and I thought why not. So oh that, that rhymed. So I just use this on my top and bottom lashes and I even put some in my brows just because it can't hurt. Um, I'm not going to say that this is giving me like the most, like longest, lusciousest, distest lashes ever, -estest. but it, it is what it is. Um, the next thing I do before I go to bed is um, put on some Vaseline on my lips because that's important for moisturizing your lips, especially in the winter. Then I go to sleep, so, uh, bye. <laughs> Just kidding, hello. This, okay, my hair's really dirty. We're not gonna talk about it. We're talking like fourth day hair here, so just don't judge me. Um, I'm gonna put my hair up, obviously, and she looks hurt. Y'all, I literally just woke up, so don't judge my hair. The next thing I do is I just wash my face with water. I really like this. The cleansers that I used to use in the mornings, they just kind of stripped my face a little bit more. This is me being dead. I am literally dead right now. I don't know why my eye does this. It just like, anyway, sidetracking. But I just wash my face with some warm water and then dry that off. Use the same spray that I used um, at night and then I will move on to brushing my teeth again. So I'm going to leave Bite in the description below if you're interested. It's 
awesome. Not only does it really clean your teeth, it has really nice ingredients. And on top of that, like they just have a great brand model surrounding being more eco-friendly and just getting rid of waste. Um, they have one of the best waste elimination business models I've seen. So I definitely highly recommend this, especially if you're trying to be more eco-friendly. So I'll just brush my teeth um, and, you know, do, do the dang thing. I use a bamboo toothbrush because eco-friendly. And then I use a not so eco-friendly Crest Pro Health um, mouthwash. This is just not the best thing ever. I'm not like recommending it here, but I'm fancy, not really. So I put it in a mason jar, whatever. And um, yeah, I just kind of switched that around for a second. Um, if you think this is gross that I just like drink it out, sorry, can't help you. But um, yeah, I just kind of switched that around for a second um, or like 30 seconds is what I try to get to, but it burns. Boop. Hello. So once that's done, I will then move on to moisturizer. Oh, honey. Move on to moisturizer. So I got this uh, moisturizer in my FC bags and I am actually a big fan of it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it because like I said, rose doesn't do very well on my skin, but it actually is not horrible. I like that it's light because in the morning I just need something light. Anyway, this was kind of a wrap up of all of the updates that I've made to my skincare routine. Hope that you guys liked it. If you did, subscribe, like it, put a little bell on it so you know when I post again, which will hopefully be more often, and I'll see you later. Bye.